Today we are going to draw an Easter bunny with a, with a striped background. You're going to need two sheets of paper today for your director drawing. So this is what you're going to do first, okay? You are going to get your piece of paper and then you're going to color a background using whatever you want. It could just be, you know, stripes, it could be a sunset, anything you'd like, just a simple background without drawings, just a design. When you are finished, it's going to come out looking like this. So I just made mine very simple, just different colors, and then I just colored the background. So then you're going to get your second sheet of paper, and then we are going to start with uh, drawing our bunny. This is what we're going to do. So you're going to take your pencil, and then you're going to find the bottom of your paper. And we're just going to make the head of our bunny. So all it is is just one little hill. So I'm going to start at the left, and I'm going to draw my hill go up and down. Okay, so there's the head of my bunny. So then I'm going to draw the ears. So the ears are going to be just skinnier little hills. Okay. So one right there and then the other. Just like that. And then the inside of the ear, you're just going to follow the same curve but smaller. Just like that. And draw your second one in the other ear. Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just try your best. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the nose. So you're gonna find probably quarter down your page. You're just gonna draw a line from a left to right. There's my nose. And then you're going to connect one point to another. So you're just gonna draw a U, just like that. Today I'm going to show you how to draw eyes that look like it looks more realistic. As some of the class calls it, or Harper calls it, they say cutie eyes. So I'm going to draw two ovals just like that. And for the cutie eyes, this is what you do. You Inside the one oval, the one eye, you're going to draw a big circle and a little circle on the bottom. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And with your pencil, you're gonna go ahead and color inside the oval, but not the little two circles. Do not color the two circles. So I'm gonna color that in just like that. So you could see that I did not color the two circles and I colored around it within that one oval. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, just like that. So there, there are the eyes. Okay, so then we're gonna draw the mouth. So you're just gonna draw, go to the middle of your nose and draw a line just like that. And then you're gonna curve up like a hook or a J, and you can do the same thing. Go back down that same line and curve upwards just like that. So it looks like it's smiling. You could add teeth if you want, or for me, I just left mine like that. For teeth, you, all you need to do is just draw two little lines just like that for the teeth, okay? Then I'm gonna draw three points, three little circles here. This is gonna be where your whiskers are gonna be. So from those points, those little dots, you're gonna just draw curves, curved lines. It doesn't matter if you go past the head or if you don't, because we're gonna be cutting out your bunny. So one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. Okay, it does not have to be perfect. So there you have it. There's your bunny. Now the detail. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do smudging like we've done in the past. 
And I'm gonna start with actually the muzzle of the, the bunny. To make it look like it's actually coming out, what I'm gonna do lightly with your pencil, draw a, an oval, part of an oval, just like this, okay? So you're kind of going around the nose and the mouth. Now, I'm holding the pencil this way, but now I'm gonna change it so I'm gonna start to smudge, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade carefully, just part of it, not the whole thing, just over your line. Then with your finger, you're gonna smudge around so it looks like the muzzle's sticking out a little bit from the, the bunny, okay? Then what you're gonna do is, if you're happy with the way that looks, you're just gonna go around the bunny, just different parts, because the bunny I'm gonna leave white. But I wanna add a little bit of shading and a little bit of smudging to make it look more realistic. So just different parts of the bunny, doesn't matter where you go, just don't overdo it because eventually, if you keep doing it more and more, you're gonna have a gray bunny. You wanna keep it white. So, just very simple. And don't forget, you could also do the ears. So just parts of the ears. So you just kinda of follow the curve of the ear and smudge there. And I think I want a little bit here too. Same thing up here. And down here in the, this part of the ear. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just go over little parts. Okay, as far as coloring, just keep it simple. The only, the only part that you're gonna color the bunny, what I did, was I just colored the ears, the inside of the ears. So I just use a pink and the nose. So I use a pink here. So remember when you're coloring, I always outline dark and lightly color towards the center with that, with that same color to add some shade. Same thing with the other ear. Okay. And then for the nose, I use just a, a lighter color, kind of like a peach color or skin color. Okay, just gonna color this just like that. And remember, if I'm ever going too fast, you are welcome to pause or stop it and then you know take a break and you can go back to your work, okay? Okay, so when you were finished with your bunny, just like what I just did, I'm gonna take out my scissors and I'm gonna cut out my bunny. So when you're cutting, make sure you cut it on the outer line, okay? So you don't cut the ears off. So I'm getting my scissors, I'm gonna cut, and it's okay if you cut part of the Bunny's outline. Just try your best. Okay. Okay, so when you're finished, and look at that. You could actually use that for another project, whatever you want to do, so you could just keep that. Okay, so when you're finished cutting out your cute little bunny that you just drew, you're going to grab your background that you worked on first, okay? And the fun part is you could make your bunny stick, look like he's peeking or she's peeking from the bottom, or it could be on the side, or it could be a bunny peeking up, you know, upside down, saying hello. Doesn't matter what you want, where you glue it. You just glue it, it could be, it doesn't have to be exactly in the center. It could be on the 
the right side or the left side whatever you want to do but the but ideally because this is just it's straight you're going to line up the bottom of your bunny to the edge whichever edge that you decide to do okay well thank you so much for your attention i hope you enjoy drawing your bunny with me and i hope you have a great day